Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to hike from the Skyline Drive to one of the oldest structures in the park, Corbin's Cabin. I'm going to give you everything you need to know, so let's go on an adventure. I spent 25 years creating adventures for my three sons. Now that they are grown and living their best life, the adventures don't need to stop. Join me as I travel and document new adventures for the boys. And please like and subscribe to go along on the next adventure. Hey everyone, today's hike starts at the Corbin's Cabin Cutoff Parking Area on the Skyline Drive. This is at milepost 37.9. This is going to be towards the north end of the Skyline Drive and only a few minutes away from the Skyland area. Make sure you check the website and check the status of the Skyland area. The parking area is closest to the Thornton Gap entrance to the Skyline Drive. To get to the parking area, it's going to cost you $30 entrance fee into the Shenandoah National Park. It's going to be good for seven days but I highly recommend if you do a lot of hiking that you buy the annual pass for $80. It's good for a year and gets you unlimited admission to any national park. There are other passes available if you qualify. The road is paved all the way to the parking area, but there is a 35 mile an hour speed limit, so keep that in mind. If you're going in the winter time, make sure you check the status of the Skyline Drive on their website, as they will close portions or all of the Skyline Drive during inclement weather. Food and lodging can be found at the Skyland area as long as they're open. There's a lodge with the hotel. As a reminder, backcountry camping in Shenandoah National Park requires a permit. This can be completed online. If the Skyland area is closed, the closest gas, food, and lodging is in the Luray, Virginia area, about 30 to 45 minutes away. Once you get to the trailhead, there's a small parking lot that holds maybe 8 to 10 cars. You can do this hike as a 3 mile out and back or a 4 mile loop. Both of these hikes should be considered moderate to moderately strenuous because you have to climb back up to the Skyline Drive. It is a dog friendly hike, but remember Shenandoah National Park requires you keep your dog on a leash. The only water source I could find was when you crossed the creek at Corbin's Cabin. There are no bathrooms at the trailhead, but there are some at Skyland if it's open. You'll have no cell reception at the trailhead, and you will occasionally get some cell reception along the hike, but don't count on it at any time. As always, if you're hiking alone, leave a hike plan. If you do get reception, 911 or the Shenandoah National Park Dispatch will get you some help. Alright. It's 1.52. We finished the um, Dark Hollow Falls hike. Now we're going to start Nich Nicholson Hollow Trail down to Corbin's Cabin and back around. Should be about four miles. Legs are a little sore from this morning, but it'll be all right. <clears throat> Took the sweatshirt off. I've got one with me, but we'll see what happens. See you in a bit. Yeah, we're one mile in, been downhill the whole way so far. Kind of walking next to a creek, but nothing spectacular. I'll let you know when I get to the cabin or something else interesting comes up.
All right, we're 1.3 in. And I'm just now getting the first glimpse of a cabin. It's kind of open down here. And the sign said that the Corbin guy lived here and farmed here. So I'm guessing this is probably something to do with it. Here we go, Corbin Cabin. This is a little cabin. Beside Corbin Cabin, Corbin Cabin is over there, and this is across the creek. Like it was a barn or something at one time. All right, two miles in, uphill. Probably not gonna get any better. So I guess I'm about halfway done. This trail is gonna take me up to the Skyline Drive again. I think then I gotta walk down the Skyline Drive away from the truck and then the trail picks up again on the other side of the road all is good two and a half miles shouldn't be too long until the skyline drive it should show up maybe around three Something like that. Pretty much been uphill ever since we left the cabin. Legs are a little tired from the hike this morning too. I'll push through. Just like I expect Colton to do Monday at aerosol school. Later. All right, we're three miles. Still uphill, a little steeper now. Gas is running out of the tank quick.
It's got to be the final climb up to Skyline Drive, is what I'm thinking. I'll let you know. All right, back out on the Apple on the uh, Skyline Drive. I go this way for a little bit until we see a blue blaze. see one on the tree beside the road I think this is gonna be us right here Final push. And we're about three and a half miles in. Been downhill, probably a good half a mile or so. Which I'm not sure felt better than going uphill. But I can hear traffic on the Skyline Drive, so we're not too far away. I think it's supposed to be about five miles. I'll talk to you in a minute. Still chugging along. Can't be far from the car now. But of course we got some more hills to go over first. Still trucking along. Let me see where we're at. We're at 3.8. So it can't be but so much farther. It said it was four miles. Alright, I can see the cars. We're coming up on four miles. The sign said it was going to take us four hours I think three or four we did it in two hours and eleven minutes exceeding the standard of course oh. it's an all right hike nothing really except for the cabin once you get past the cabin it's just woods it was relaxing, but not a whole lot of sight. All right, I love y'all. See you next time. All right, here we are at the post hike. Here was the parking area. Made our way down to the river where Corbin Cabin is, right here where I would, you can see me walking around. Back up to Skyline Drive. Walked on the Skyline Drive for just a little bit and then back around uphill to the parking area. Total of four miles, 1,083 feet of ascent. Took me two hours and 14 minutes. And here we are down to Corbin's cabin and you can see it's going back uphill to get back to the Skyline Drive. All right, hope you enjoyed it.